Hey guys, it's Jalen. I am back and this is part two of my higher end lipstick collection swatches. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit scratchy. I went and saw Coldplay last night, so I did a lot of screaming and singing and, you know, all that fun stuff. And I had a very late start to my morning. I'm still drinking coffee and I can't do my makeup until I finish this video because my vanity is completely taken over by this setup. <laughs> and I have my coffee. We're going to move on with Pat McGrath. So this is all the Pat McGrath I have, including the lip glosses. So let me organize. Actually, I will go grab the three I just get. I'll be right back. I just got three new lippies from Pat McGrath that are in my May haul. <laughs> so I might as well showcase them here because this is probably going up in June. So hold on. So this is the... Bridgerton part two collection and this is the box that they came in so I literally just got this from Pat McGrath's website today and so I haven't even swatched this one but I've swatched these other two so those are the three newbies but we'll swatch it together okay let's actually I'm gonna start I think with the glosses so let me move these up We'll start with the glosses. So I think I got all of these from Pat McGrath's website, half off at least, I want to say. This is the Lux Gloss of Gloss, and this is the shade Love Potion. So this is pretty much just a sheer with a little bit of shine. I really do love this formula. And this is Divine Rose. I'm not going in order of color, my apologies. <laughs> it would take me too long to do it in that order. This is the shade Secret Lover. I probably should stop saying this is the shade. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. So pretty. Flesh Fantasy. And we have Aphrodisiac. Flesh Astral. This one has a bit more of a like metallic look to it. And lastly, I have Sunset Rose. These are so pretty. Oh, anyway, those are all the glosses. Mm. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch these three new ones first. These are the Satin Allure Lipstick and we'll swatch this new one first. This is Nude Romantique. Romantique. Ooh, look at this color. Oh, that is gorgeous. So I wasn't sure about these colors because I always feel like Pat McGrath's swatches are not accurate. So I waited to purchase until I saw some like videos of people swatching them. And once I w watched a few, I was able to determine which ones I wanted. And by the time I figured that out, Sephora was sold out of the shade. So I ended up picking this one up from Pat McGrath's website and these other two from Sephora's website. So this is the shade, actually I'm gonna do this one next. This is the shade Veiled Rose. And this is, these are more sheer than the Lux Trans lipsticks were, which that was my favorite formula. I prefer that over the Matte Trans, but she discontinued the satin or the Lux Trans, excuse me. <laughs> and this is Entranced. Oh my God. These are all three so pretty. 
I hope she brings this formula into the permanent line because it's really beautiful. Mm, okay. I mean, it's not the same as the Lux Trans. So if that's, what, if that's what people are looking for, they're not going to get it. It's more sheer, but it's still really nice. Okay, so I am going to take these off and then we'll do the other bullets. I'm going to break these up into Matte Trance and Lux Trance. Okay, so this is just a lip balm. So I'm not going to swatch this one. It's just a clear lip balm. I think that's all she calls it. Lip fetish lip balm. And this is a Blitz Trance. I think this may... I don't remember if she still has this one. This is the shade Skin Sane. This is really pretty. Gorgeous shade. Now moving on to the Lux Trance. Now these are discontinued as, as I mentioned. This is the shade Realness. I think this is one of my, I have a lot of broken shades in the Lux Trance. They're kind of creamy. I don't care. I love them. And we have Beautiful Creature. Creature, yeah, Creature without the S. Unfaithful. Move this wipe out of the way. Oh, gosh. Love it. <laughs> Valletta. Yeah, Valletta. This is another sadly broken lipstick. I think that was in my lip service. Madame Grage. This is a challenging lip color to wear, but it's still gorgeous. Oh, I love colors like that. <laughs> I don't care if they're hard to wear. Sorry, not sorry. I think this was like one of the first lip, like Pat McGrath lip, like <laughs> lipsticks I bought when she launched this line. And Lavish. And this is another one that I panned recently from Lip Service. It's a beautiful color. And then moving on to the matte trance. Now these two minis, I'm pretty sure are both in the matte trance line, but they were in, they were kind of like, this was a Sephora perk. This is Elson. I think that's the shade name. Yeah, Elson. And it's a gorgeous red. I think I actually have two of these reds. It's beautiful. And this is 1995. Mm -hmm. This is also 1995, but I have it in limited edition packaging. So I have used this one as well, but I'm going to put it back since we've already swatched it. So these are the other two that are limited edition packaging. I can't remember what year these are from, but several years ago. We have Omi. Oh, this shade is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite colors. And Christy, this is a bit of a lighter shade. But yeah, it's still really gorgeous pink. And Modern Woman, this is another one of those potentially difficult shades to wear. It's that purple leaning gray, gray leaning purple. <laughs> oh Lordy, Venus and Furs. Oh my gosh, I love this one so much. Look, I'm almost done with it. Oh, I love it. This is, I'm actually working on this one in my throwback 30. I'm trying to finish it. I don't know if I can, but yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. I would totally buy a backup of this if I do eventually finish it. I have soft core. I think this was part of a limited edition collection. Was it with like Divine Rose palette? I can't remember. And lastly... I have Fembot and I will say I'm not a hundred percent sure if softcore is if she brought it into the permanent line and what was it what did I say Fembot I somehow have two of these lipsticks so I do eventually need to work this one out I do have pretty good usage on this one 
Yep, so those are the mat trans, but from here down. So that is all the Pat McGrath. Okay, this last bin has like a hodgepodge of different lippies. I think I'm just going to pull out brand by brand and we'll go from there. Okay, I found one more Pat McGrath. This is a really old lip product. It was like the first lip product that she released. This is the shade Blood One. It's like the first lip product, like I said. So here it is. It's just really a beautiful red. So I wanted to make sure I showed you this. It's, there's still a ton of product in here. <laughs> But yeah, it's beautiful red. So I'm going to start with what was kind of in that last bin with Hourglass. And I have a bunch of components here and then a couple of refills. I got most of these refills from the holiday kits. So let me see what we have here. The first one I have is at night. And this is the like red that they came out with, Red Zero. This is their dupe for Carmine. And this component is so beautiful with a little beetle there. So cute. So it's their vegan dupe for Carmine. I should say vegan and cruelty free. Then we have My One Desire. Oh my gosh. Oh. Holy moly. I love that color so much. And this one's kind of close. Well, not close. I should probably try to pan this one. If only. Some of these were limited edition shades. Oh my gosh, that shade is gorgeous. <laughs> I woke up. I also find that Hourglass does a really crummy job with their swatches. They're always darker than the lipstick actually is. I can't live without. One time. And some of these, I think I do have duplicates of some of these. So I'll have to look. True love means so that one's a very pale, pale shade. You, you are my, oops, I kind of got those two really close together. <laughs> this one's really beautiful too. I think I've already swatched this one. Hold on. Yeah. This is a dupe for I Can't Live Without, and this is a shade, whoops, hold on, let me pull this out. This is the shade At Night. There we go, that's all the hourglass. Okay, next up I'm going to do YSL. So this is all the YSL that I have. And we'll start with these guys. So this, they never put the names of their lip products on the bullet. So I have no idea what these are. And it's teeny tiny writing. I don't know the shade names. You know what? I'm going to be nice and I'll pull it up on my iPad. One thing I forgot to mention in the last video is I do have several lip products in my back stock that I haven't opened or touched and I'm not including them in this video because I haven't opened them. I'm just, because I'm swatching these, I don't want to 
pull them out to open and swatch if I haven't even opened them yet. <laughs> so this one is the, I think these are the Rouge Pour Couture lipsticks and this is the shade Lanou. It's number 70. This is number 10 Beige Tribute. This is one where I'm not, I'm not sure. I think this came, oh no, it's pretty nice. This came in a set, I believe, from Nordstrom. We have number 98, which is Rosewood Star. This is stunning. Oh, I love that. Beautiful. This is number 125, Honey's Nude. This was part of a limited edition collection. I think this was what was with, oh wow, was with Zoe Kravitz. And we have number 121, Arlene's Nude. This is stunning. It's totally my kind of shade. Love that one. Now I do have one full size of the Tatouage Couture Matte Stain in the shade number 26. And this is Neutral Underground. I have a couple of minis of this too, but this is the only full size that I have. And it's beautiful. This is probably going to stain my hand, but that's that one. I love that. And let's do these here. These are going to roll around. So this is the Rouge Voluped Shine. So they actually have the name of the product on here. They just don't have the shade names. This is the Rouge Voluped Shine and I have the shade number 87, which is Rose Afrique. I love this formula so much. It's like, like I love this style of lip product. It's great for the summer, actually any time of the year. <laughs> Balmy, hydrating, love it. Then I have shade number 88, which is Rose New. I'm always looking for more shades of this because I love them. Number 86 is Mauve Coeur. C-U-I-R. I don't know if I said that right. Core. Core. <laughs> I picked several of these up as a buy one, get one on YSL's website. Number 44 is Nude Lavalier. This is just a classic. Beautiful. And I think some of these I actually did get engraved. You can, I don't know, let's see. I don't know if you can see my name there. Yep, there we go. What's the other one that I got? Oh yeah, here's one I got engraved. This is from the, the website, you can get them engraved. This, I, this is 124, this one is Honey's Nude. Wait, is that right? No, this is number 124. I don't think this is called Honey's Nude, hold on. Yeah, this is Rose Lulu. Beautiful. Beautiful. So I have it one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, got them all. Okay, and then I have two of the, let's see, Volupt Tintin Balm. This is number 13, which is Downtown Nude. And this is a great formula as well. Just, you know, a tint lip like a lip balm almost and this is the one I believe I'm currently I believe this is the one I'm currently working on in lip service I'm just going to set it to the side and then I have the shade number nine which is tempt me pink and I think these both also came in a set from Nordstrom one year And then I have this interesting formula, which I don't think they have in their line anymore, to be honest. Yeah, this is the Volupt Liquid Color Balm. I think this came with like these as a set. I could be wrong. And this is the shade Rush Me Pink. 
I don't, I don't think they have these anymore, but you can see it's very, very pink, very, very pink, but it's really pretty on the lips. I'm going to try to fit all of these on my, my arm. And then I have two of these glosses. These are the glaze and glass glosses. And this is number three, which is undress me. Again, these were also from Nordstrom one year. It's really, really pretty. Just a, you know, topper gloss. And this is number four, which is pink next door. And I kind of like the, these doe foots. They hug your lips really well. And the last thing I have is a, let's see, what are these called? The Slim Matte Lipstick, and this is, this is the shade Nude Antonym, and I only have one of these. I think this, again, Nordstrom, Nordstrom Anniversary Sale, but this is a really beautiful color. I don't usually go with matte lipsticks, but that one, because it was part of a set, I was okay with it. So that is, I think, all the YSL on one hand. I love them. Love, love, love. So let's start, let's do Wayne Goss. Let me just, I don't know why this makes me happy. <laughs> Wayne Goss. There. <sighs> Look how nice that is. <laughs> okay, so I have eight from Wayne Goss. Let's see, I have four of the luxury cream lipsticks. The first shade I have is Daisy. And I think this one came as part of the mystery kits from Beautylish and I have the shade Nutmeg. This one also came as part of the mystery kit. I would not have picked this shade normally, but I think I can still make that work. I'm not sure. It may be a good mixer to warm things up a bit. I have the shade Carnation. This one is stunning. It's a really nice berry shade. I really do love this formula. It's nice. And the shade Lily. I would like for him to come out with a really great mauve shade because I don't think that there's a nice classic mauve shade in this line. Unless, I mean, I don't think he's come out with new shades in this formula. And then I have four of the, the glosses. This is the High Shine Gloss. I have the shade Petunia. I'm currently working on this one in my, I think, it's either 21 and 21 or... B A to Z, I can't remember. And I have Cherry Blossom. This one's a good classic nude. It's the shade Tulip. And the last one I have is Antique Rose. And this is a great like topper shade. It's got some shimmer to it, some shine. So that's all the wing goss. And I'm just going to go ahead and add here, we'll do the three La Merciers that I have. And these are the Rouge Essential Silky Creme Lipsticks. It's really teeny tiny writing. This is Plum Sublime. This formula is really nice. I need Valerie's help. Mauve something. Maybe I'll insert how she says it's supposed to be pronounced. Mauve Merveilleux. I love this shade. Oh my gosh. Mm. Stunning. And lastly, I have Violet. I think I picked up this one and this one, Plum Sublime and Violet from um, Gorgeous. TJ Maxx. And then I got the mauve one from BoxyCharm or something. So yeah, they're beautiful. Anyway, that's Wayne Goss and Laura Mercier. Okay, let's do Giorgio Armani. I got all five of these half off. Oh, come on, don't go. From Sephora, I don't remember when, to be honest. It was 
they were on sale. So I picked these five up and I think I was starting to cherry pick at this point. And I cannot read this teeny tiny writing. So I'm going to go into my inventory and see if I can tell you what these are. Okay. This is the ecstasy shine lipstick number 503 fatal. I love this. I love this. This is so beautiful. So easy to wear. I would totally repurchase it. I don't know if he got rid of this to be honest, but I would repurchase it if not. And this is the shade number 601, which is attitude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Gorgeous. And then these three are the Rouge D'Armani matte lipsticks. And I have number five, 403, which is lucky red. That was a terrible swatch, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous red. Number 501, which is Milano. And I have panned this one. It's a gorgeous color. Gorgeous. Oh, shit. <laughs> and lastly, I have number 502, which is Kimono. They're all so pretty. And then we'll do Shiseido. So I love this formula so much. Oh, it's so nice. I discovered it. I mean, I, I kind of was interested in it and I, I saw that Sephora had it. And then I found a bunch at TJ Maxx. So that's where several of these came from. But then I know Sephora had these half off at like during their lipstick International Lipstick Day event last year. So I picked several up there as well. This is number two. This is a Visionary Gel lipstick. And this is number 208 Streaming Mauve. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. 211 Rose Mauve. I think some of these shades are available on Shiseido's website only. Like you can't find it on S Sephora's website. You can only find it on Shiseido's website. Is this the same number? 211. Okay. I have a backup of Rose. I was, I think I said Rose Mauve. It's Rose Muse. So I have two of these. I have number 203, which is Night Rose. Gorgeous. Gore. Yes. One zero eight Lotus. Beautiful, like pinky mauvey shade. Mm -hmm. That seems to be a bit more sheer than the other ones. That is the same formula, right? No, this one's a different formula. My apologies. This is the color gel lipstick. Let me make sure these others are the same. Yeah. So this is the color balm lipstick. It's a different formula. And this is also the Visionary Gel. It's Pink Dynasty. Oh, huh. it's gorgeous. I would totally buy more of this one too. This color gel. That's my type of lipstick. Oh, love that. I may have to look into this. <laughs> so yes, that is Giorgio Armani and Shiseido. Next up, I'm going to do Smashbox. I think normally I would probably have this with these lipsticks with my like mid range, which is, you know, the urban decays and max and stuff, but they don't fit <laughs> in that drawer. <laughs> so they're here, which is fine. All right. So I have f four of the new formula, one of the old formula and one of this, I picked this up from the CCO. This is the always on cream to matte lipstick, the shade big, big night. Oh, it's so pretty. It's very creamy. Love that. Mm -hmm. And this is the, let's see, legendary. Oh my gosh. Hold on. <laughs> this is the Be Legendary lipstick. So this is the old formula, the shade Audition. I think I picked this up when it was on sale, whenever they were discontinuing this line. This shade is stunning. I love that. 
Oh, you know what? I have a bunch. I have some minis of, of Smashbox. I'll pull those out here. Actually, let me pull those out now. And I found this little mini of Shiseido, so I will swatch this here in a minute. But this is also the old formula. I think this is the Be Legendary. Yeah, the Be Legendary lipstick. So I'll swatch these as well. This is the shade Legendary. This is Primrose. This one was beautiful. I totally would have purchased a full size of this, but I think I missed out. We have the shade Fig. This was also stunning. Beautiful fall shade. This one's a little scary. It's the shade Tabloid. Ooh, scary. I think I've considered decluttering this one. Hmm. <laughs> haven't yet and lastly inspiration this one's gorgeous too yep, so those are my little the little minis I have I got these in a like Sephora set one year and then the new line now this is a beautiful formula if you've never tried it I highly recommend the be legendary prime and plush lipstick and I have the shade level up I love these so much. Stepping out. Stylist. And the last one is first time. They're so nice. So that's all the Smashbox. And now I'll swatch this other Shiseido I have. This came in a like gift set that I got. I picked up a TJ Maxx. It came like in a bag with some skincare. This is the Modern Matte Power Lipstick in the shade Cocktail Hour. So it's a beautiful red. Look at this bullet. <sighs> How crazy this is. I mean. beautiful wow so yeah forgot I had that okay and we, we're almost done almost done I have some Lisa Eldridge Lancome a few Lancome and like a onesie twosie of Dior and Surratt and that's it I have four of the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks three of the true velvet lipsticks and then one of the luxuriously lucent lip color so let's see this is velvet myth I'm sorry if my audio is not the best. I have it on one side, so it, it may be like going in and out. I apologize in advance. This is Velvet Muse. So pretty. And I have Velvet Jazz. I think I surprised myself when I purchased these shades that I went with a red and then a berry and then just one nude. I may end up going back and picking up some of the nudes. I don't know. And then the luxuriously lucent lip color I have is painterly. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So pretty. Okay, and then I have three Lancome lip products i have this one well two of these i also have several of the juicy tubes but i'm not going to swatch those for lancome but this is the labsolu rouge lipstick and i have number 387 crushed rose so the way you open these is you hit the press down here and this pops out so this is crushed rose this is so pretty so pretty And I have number 265 Perfect Fig. And these are both cream formulas. And then I have one of the L'Absolu Le Absolu Gloss. <laughs> and I'm just, you know, mixing this up a little bit. This is the shade number 351. 
and it, oh my gosh, I don't know how to say this. Sur le toit. <laughs> this is really gorgeous too. It's just a nice sheer kind of mauve shade. Really pretty. Just one of those. And then two products left. Oh my God, this video is an hour long. Woo. So I have one from Dior and this was a limited edition shade of their lacquer stick. They don't make this anymore. My sister was very sad because she loved this color. This is number 512. The shade is Hit, H-I-T, and this is really pretty. I may end up just giving this to her, to be honest, because she loved it so much. So that is, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's such a great formula. I would totally buy more of these. I don't think you can still buy this. You can still buy this formula. I would totally buy more of these. It's really nice, creamy. And then I have from Surat the Lip Slick. This came in the Beautylish Lucky bag. And this is the shade Paramore. It's not a shade that I would typically buy. I mean, look at this. This is like not even, mm -mm. but I kept it because I was like, well, let me try it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Yeah, but it's not a shade that I normally buy, but it's also really comfortable. So I feel like it would be okay. <laughs> Putting it on right now. Like it's almost like a hydrating balmy lip product and I think you can wear it anytime so I think I can still use it it's just not a color that I would have picked so it's nice it's hydrating okay guys that is everything that is in my for the most part my like high-end lip drawer with some things that I pulled from other drawers that were kind of the same brand you may see some of these brands in other videos if I have them stored in other drawers but I tried to pull the ones that I like thought of right off the bat my hands look like totally different colors <gasps> anyway that is going to be it for this inventory like double feature <laughs> I'm pretty sure I separated that drawer into two different videos but I will soon swatch the next drawer which is like my, you know, mid-range Mac, Becca, Urban Decay, Tarte, Clinique, like that, those kinds of lip products. I also have like Bite Beauty, old school Bite Beauty. And I also know I, do, I'm, I need to swatch the highlighters because I lost that footage. So I need to go through my highlighter drawer as well. So I'll probably do... I'm going to try to do the lip products and then the highlighters. So I'll probably do the mid range and the, at least the mid range and the highlighters so I can have those to edit and hopefully post while I'm away or at least work on editing while I'm away so I can post them maybe whenever I get back. We'll, we'll see. It just depends on how it goes. So I'm babbling. That is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all next time. Bye.